vlog. My name is Hammy if you're new here and I do triathlon fitness and travel vlogs and today's vlog is all about Stowe, Vermont. So we flew into Burlington, Vermont yesterday and we rented a car and Stowe is about 45 minutes up the mountain but Vermont is a state that we've always wanted to visit and it is early September so the leaves have not turned quite yet but we wish we would have come a little bit later but it's our wedding anniversary trip and we always go on Labor Day weekend that's just how it is but it is nothing short of beautiful so do not get me wrong if you still want to come to Vermont in early September please do so we are staying at the Trap Family Lodge and everything I mentioned it will be linked down below and hopefully you come visit please enjoy the vlog Okay, so I wanted to do a quick room tour of the Trap Family Lodge. And this lodge has a lot of history because the family who built this is from Austria. And they are the family who The Sound of Music is based off of. So it's a really cool area. And it had a really decent sized room and bathroom. So here's the bathroom. There's a giant tub in it. And you already know if you watch my vlogs that I put it to use. They had some, even some bath salts that came with everything. So besides the bathroom, the entire room is a really great space, like even more than you need, which makes sense because a lot of people come to this lodge to ski and a lot of your ski or snowboarding winter equipment can be pretty big. So it makes sense as to why these lodge rooms are so big. But it was really convenient that they had a desk and a TV, lots of storage, a dresser, coffee table with even more storage below it, a little breakfast nook, lots of seating area, and a really gorgeous view outside which I'll show here in a bit. So this is the entire space and it has like a little kitchenette right here. I don't want to say kitchenette because it doesn't really have a little stove or anything but definitely access to coffee if you just want to make it in your room and then go on your way but has a mini fridge and lots of storage underneath there. So if you go outside, it has a balcony with a really gorgeous view that you can enjoy coffee on. And when it is a leaf season or when the leaves turn, this is all covered in orange and red, which like I said, I wish we could have seen, but it's also gonna be covered in snow when it's winter time. But nonetheless, it was very beautiful at any season. First day, we went over to the coffee house and little bakery with some Austrian baked goods to kind of get our fuel before we went mountain biking. And all the mountain bike rentals is on site for the resort, so that was very accessible, just a few steps away. And the entire resort had an outdoor pool, like a lap swimming pool, indoor spa, anything you can think of, even an indoor rock climbing wall, which we did not put to use, but if you like to be active on your trips, this is the place. After we went mountain biking, and by the way, the trails that we went mountain biking on turn into ski trails in the winter, which is pretty cool. We drove into the town to go grab some lunch and went to go to the cider mill and get some apple cider donuts and maple creamy which i didn't know vermont calls ice cream creamy but i thought that was really cute Not as good as the first. 
Yours looks so good. Oh, so good. I'm so glad you went with that because that's what I was debating. The dreamy maple ice cream in between apple cider donuts. got our treats and lunch we went to the Ben and Jerry's ice cream factory so this is where the headquarters for Ben and Jerry's is at and we learned a ton about how it's made and all the history of how Ben and Jerry's got started and we bought tickets to the tour and I recommend buying them at least one to two days in advance because they sell out pretty quickly A lot of these are bad. That's another sort of Looks like we have a discrimination problem no, no, against no. sorbets. Chocolate comfort. Ah, oh, look at that low fat ice cream. That's why it didn't go wrong. tickets to a tour for the maple syrup tour that the resort offered which is really cool that it's on site and they teach you how they tap trees for maple syrup and the entire process for how it's made and how it gets to bottles and how Vermont gets their syrup the tour we got ready and we went to a local coffee shop that I might have gotten the best latte I have ever gotten a maple syrup latte from this spot and it was very delicious I'll have this place linked down below as well After we had fuel and our caffeine in us, we went paddle boarding at a local water reserve. After a day full of activities, we were really hungry but also really tired, so we went back to the room to freshen up, get changed, and go into the town of Stowe, where we grabbed appetizers and drinks at Cork, got chocolates from a little artisanal chocolate shop, grabbed dinner, and continued our food adventure.
love you. Huh? When you rate it. Or you took a bite. Russell? Oh, wow. mm, 7 out of 10. I give it an 8 out of 10. Chocolate's good. I'll definitely give it a 10. Lavender truffle, Nine. orange peel, pretzel, peanut butter chocolate fudge. Not chocolate peanut butter fudge. Not chocolate peanut butter. There's a difference. Okay. I'm gonna try the truffle. Oh, hi, Jogo. Mmm. That's a lot of goat cheese. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful. We always choose a mushroom pizza. Always. On our final day, we did a three mile run on the trail where we were mountain biking on, and it was absolutely gorgeous. It was so nice to slow down and see nature up close instead of zooming past it on a bike. So I highly recommend on either going on a run or a quick walk to see everything and all the beauty that Vermont has to offer. After we went on that run, we headed back into the city of Burlington where we originally flew in. And to kill some time, we walked around the town, did some shopping, grabbed a bite, and headed to the airport. But if you did, I'd still love you anyway. I'd give you the world like I promised I would.